Hi, today we're going to look at a game, and I apologize if I'm pronouncing this wrong. Um, we're looking at Yifan Ho versus Marie Sebag from the first Hanzo Women's GM tournament in June of 2011. Black has just played Bishop F8, which was a mistake, and here White starts off her attack by playing G6. The immediate threat is checkmate on H7 with the Queen, so Black must react. Um, Black played F takes G6. She could have also played Knight takes G6, when White would have a winning attack after Knight G5. Again, threatening checkmate on H7. Black plays H6. F takes G7. Bishop takes G7. Knight takes F7. And White has a devastating attack because she has multiple threats. Knight takes D6. Knight takes H6, and she also threatens to invade with the Queen possibly also coupled with uh, moving the rook to the g-file. So instead, black plays f takes g6, and white has seen this, and she plays a fourth line, knight takes e5, d takes e5, f7 check, king h8, rook f3, and here white has a threat um, to play queen takes h7 check, and after king takes h7, rook h3 is mate because the pawn covers the g8 square. So black must watch out for this. Um, she plays h6. She could have also played g5, but rook g1 is also winning for white. So she plays h6, and here white plays bishop takes h6. She sees the forced win and is hence justified to sacrifice the material to uncover black's king side. Black plays g takes h6, and here white plays queen g4, which is a a slight mistake because rook g1 would have been a faster win as king h7 defending the pawn on g6 is met by rook takes g6 and the rook is invulnerable due to king takes g6 queen g2 check king h7 queen g8 checkmate so that would have been faster but white instead played uh, 26 queen g4 and here black played g5 she could have also played king g7 when rook g1 forces black to move the pawn forward and after queen h5 um, white has the threat of playing rook takes g5 check h takes g5, queen takes g5, king h7, rook h3 check with mate to follow so black must defend the g5 pawn by playing bishop e7 but after h4 white still has a winning attack because black's king side defenses will be overwhelmed uh, instead of king g7, black played g5 in the game. White plays queen h5, and one of her threats, one of white's threats now, is to play rook f6 followed by rook takes h6 check, and another threat would be queen g6 followed by trying to checkmate black on g8. So black plays king g7 to cover both these threats. Uh, white plays rook h3. And now black's king side is about to fall, so her king must try to make a run for it. King f6, white plays rook takes d7. Uh, this cuts off the e7 square for black's king. And um, black played b4 here. Uh, black's counterplay also quickly runs out after queen f1 check and knight d1. And here either rook takes c2 check, king takes c2, rook c8 check, king b1 leads to nothing for black or queen f4 check, knight e3 uh, also needs leads to nothing. Um, and here actually white has the same threat that she uses to finish off the game, uh, to finish off in the actual game. So instead of queen f1 check, black played b4, and here it is checkmate in four moves. Um, white starts off by playing queen takes h6 check, sacrificing a queen, bishop takes h6, rook takes h6 check, the black king is forced back to g7, white plays f8 queen check, the king is being attacked twice and therefore it has to move and the rook on h6 is protected so black's king must take the queen on f8 and for this reason black resigned because after king takes f8 white simply plays rook h8 checkmate. Alright thanks for watching this video.